Ah, Ronald, hello. Me and the others are going to dinner if you'd like to join us. I prefer to eat alone, thank you. Off on his own again. I get the feeling he's intentionally keeping his distance. Well, I can hardly blame him. It hasn't been that long since Squad F disbanded. Oh, that's Kaigel and Ryan from Squad E, if I recall. Is Ryan holding a bottle of alcohol? What are they doing here? Oh, how did it end up like this? You know, Kaigel, every time you sigh, you start looking older. Ah, shut your mouth. I don't need you telling me I'm an old geezer on top of everyone else. And you're older than me. <laughs> Not by much. If you ask me, we're both getting too old for this shit. Hmm. Well, guess so. I'm getting on in years. There's no denying that. Still, after what happened to Squad F, I think a sigh is the least I owe him. <laughs> I've done my time. If anyone should be gone, it should have been me. But now... Ah, oh, Ryan, this ain't right. Sometimes you have to sacrifice pawns to win a game. We just need to accept it and move on. <sighs> For God's sakes, man, have some tact! I'm right next to you, you cranky old bastard. Don't have to shout. You talk like that, you're gonna hurt someone. Listen, it's that kind of attitude that... Say that again. Huh? Wait, you're one of Squad F's guys. Look me in the eyes and say that again, you bastard. That's what we were? Expendable pawns? My friends died for you, and you insult them? Easy there. It's just a figure of speech. The proof is right there in your hand. You sit and drink and joke, while brave sons and daughters lie dead in their... What's going on here? Lieutenant Victor, my apologies. I lost my composure. It won't happen again. Ugh, look what you did. I meant what I said. People die. Man's gotta move on. But, damn it. If I'd known he was listening, I wouldn't have said it like that. Kaigel, Ryan, allow me to apologize for earlier. Ronald, you're apologizing? No, this one's on us. We were downright insensitive. I was just about to get Ryan to make it right. I'm not a damn kid, Kaigel. I know when I've screwed up. Look, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. Now old Ryan comes off his cold. I'll give you that. You gotta understand, though. He's not a bad guy. He's been through enough war to change a man. By now, he's gotten kind of... jaded, if you get what I mean. Ryan Ford. I've heard the stories. A legendary mercenary who shows up in decisive battles to lead his side to victory. There are plenty who see you as some kind of ideal soldier, but you've certainly made a lot of enemies. I've got a job to do. Not my business what other people think of it. Maybe I shouldn't have phrased it like that, but... I meant what I said about moving on. Yes, I realize that. I was the one at fault. I can't let my emotions make me act irrationally. It takes guts to admit that. But I've heard you've been staying away from Squad E, huh? You figure that's rational? <sighs> I do understand. Squad E isn't directly responsible for... what happened to my team. Still, I... When I remember the battle, I remember hearing my commander cry. I heard her rage, her despair. I can't forgive Squad E that easily. Not when I think of everything they put her through. Were all the F Squaddies like you? That kind of loyalty is hard to come by in war. Squad F was an elite team formed by Commander Victor. Every one of us owed her our life. That was our pride and privilege. We would gladly give our lives if it meant helping her. I see. Still, Ronald, you ought to know one thing. 
Sounds like Minerva's caught wind of how you're staying away from Squad E. Hmm. After you left last time, she asked us to keep an eye on you. Head bowed, talking all formal. Lieutenant Victor? She... Really? I'm willing to bet she's not happy about getting stuck with Squad E, neither. But the ladies learned to put her duty before her emotions. <laughs> That's the alarm. Guess the Imperials have popped up. We can talk more later. Let's go. We have our next mission. Lieutenant Victor, I heard from Kaigle that you asked them to look out for me. Hmm. But why? Have you really forgiven Squad E? No. I may never forgive them for what they've done. Least of all Claude. But right now we have a job to do. A lot of people died to get us here. So we need to keep fighting in their place. When I pull that trigger, I do it for everyone I've lost. For the friends I've left behind. <sighs> That's all that matters to me right now. I know you're struggling with all this, but... No. Say no more, Lieutenant. I've always followed your lead. As long as you command me, Squad F will live on. This is my fate.
Moving out.
understood. Battlefield is where I belong. Officer, I will Please, not fall here. Calm down. Enemy base captured. That's it. We're done here, everyone. Let's head back. Claude, the other fire team's in trouble. Kygel and Ryan are stuck out there. Don't know when to quit. How long are they willing to chase a guy? Ryan, help me out here. We need to get them off our tail. Sorry, but I think this might be it for me. Tell them I went out fighting, will you? Get a grip, you damn fool. Listen, we're veterans. We got a duty to these kids. We gotta protect their future. <sighs> Give it a rest. I can't even get away from this shit on the battlefield. Are you all right? Well, look who showed up to save our asses. You sticking your neck out for us jumps from Squad E? I understand now. I'd lost sight of what Squad F took pride in. All I need to do is fight the Empire with the allies I have. Nothing more. Kygel, Ryan, please. Let me fight alongside you. Guess I gotta hand it to Minerva. These old bones might just have more work to do after. Come on, Ryan. We're the old war dogs here, aren't we? You gotta set an example. I can't. It's all over for me. I'm out of the good stuff. I can't go on anymore. The what? Oh, see, Ryan ain't a smoker or a drinker. It's sweets that really get him going. When he runs out. I should still have some leftover chocolate from last week's rations. Will this help? You bastards! I'm back! Let's mow these imps down and get the hell out of here! <laughs> it's just a couple of old coots! Keep firing! Don't stop until they're all dead! <laughs> if greenhorns like this are all we're up against, we've got nothing to worry about. These kids today got no respect. Well, soldiers don't get old without getting tough, son! I'm glad the operation was a success, and Kygel and Ryan made it back safe, but... Uh, the tank's a wreck! This is going to take ages to fix. Pass the wrench. Huh? Ronald? You're going to help? Any objection? No, not at all! Thanks! Ah, there's Ronald! All done with tank repaired! It all went smoothly. Thanks to Squad E's other engineer. So now you're working with Squad E. Think Lieutenant Minerva helped you get a little closer? None of this would have happened if it weren't for you two. I owe you thanks. I hope we can work together to take down the Empire. Likewise. Pleasure's all mine. Hey, Ryan. You got something to say too, right? Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Um. Good chocolate. Don't give me that! That's not what I meant, moron! I've actually been wondering about something. Ryan, I was told you neither drink nor smoke. That's right. 
Then why did you have that bottle of alcohol earlier? Ah, that. Yeah, that's right. I guess you'd call it an offering for Squad F. Oh? Not much we can do to commemorate the dead in war. No spare time or manpower for graves. I was sitting here moping about it. And in walks Ryan with this beautiful bottle. It was a gift from comrades in another war. I don't drink, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. I... You know, my son went off to war a long time ago. They told me he died serving his country. I see his face every time I look at one of these new young recruits. Here, or at Squad F. I just wanted something to send off the soldiers who fought to the end. That's all. I really have to apologize again. I jump to conclusions. Water under the bridge. If you don't mind, may I join you in this toast? Thought you'd never ask. Yeah. We respect the ones who go on ahead. War's hell. But it can't ever take that away from us. Ah, now that reminds me. Ever tell you about my early days in the army? I rose up from the very bottom, you know. Back in the day, I was even a drill sergeant. <laughs> and you should have seen some of the crap I put those kids through. You gonna ramble about the good old days now? <laughs> and you wonder why everyone calls you an old man. Ah, well, uh, I suppose. <clears throat> well, let me just say one thing. Ronald, you hang on to that pride. Never forget that you're a proud soldier of Squad F. Yes, sir. Headquarters has decorated you with this medal. Congratulations!